Today we're talking to Snormel City manager Ian Anderson following the Saints' return to winning ways after three games without a win with a 1-0 victory over Eastbourne Borough at Clarence Park. I've got to say Ian, it wasn't the most exciting afternoon of our lives but uh, I think you'll be happy with that result in the end. Yeah, we've had to, um, we've had to dig deep today. Um, they set up with a, with a five across the back and we struggled to get to grips with the game for long periods. Um, our passing wasn't good. Um, our movement wasn't good and when we did have a good little spell in terms of that we we let ourselves down with a poor final pass but you know sometimes that's going to happen through the course of a, of a season the pitches are slight, slightly changing now the the, the, game, the pitch here took quite a hammering on Tuesday night with the frost it hasn't recovered really again today so there were a few bobbly bits out there and and I felt we struggled to get to to grips with the game but again we'll take the one nil it's um, it's uh, three points at the end of the day. Whether we'd have won five nil or one nil, it makes no difference. It's still the same three points, and uh, you know it's important that we picked them up again today and got back after a couple of draws with um, East Farrock and and Whitehawk last week. Up until a few weeks ago, we looked phenomenal going forward, but now it, it, it's true we are struggling in front of goal a little bit. The invention seems to be lacking, or it was there for about five ten minutes in that second half today. And we had to rely on the defender, Tom Bender, to get the winning goal. In fact, he could have had uh, at least one more after that. Yeah, but that's what football's all about. You know, we can't keep relying on our forwards. We can't keep relying on our wide players to, to create chances and score goals. So, Junior's had a, a great chance today. He's gone through 1v1 with a keep and put it wide. He's had another one where he's gone through and he's, he's overrun the ball. Um, so, they're still making them runs. They're still getting opportunities. But, you know, sometimes he's got to fall to other people to, 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 to score goals, which it has done to Tom today. So, we've always said it's a team game, you know, Rust has not really had a lot to do the other end, but what he had to do, he did well. It was another clean sheet, which is important. Um, so, you know, we'll take it. We haven't played well, we know that, but we can work on all that side of it. We can we can go out there and uh, still work on what we're trying to do. And, and a clean sheet and a 1 0 victory, as I've said earlier, is, is three points. And that's the most important thing at this stage of, of the season. We're going into the Christmas period. Um, we, you know, we're out there looking now to maybe bring one or two players into strength and um, to make the squad stronger going into the Christmas period. So, you know, we we take where we are second in the league. You know, there's a few people out there that would want to like to see us get stuffed, but unfortunately, we keep winning these games and we'll keep winning while we're going and doing what we're doing. There's going to be a rocky period at some stage where we don't pick up three points, and we've got to overcome that. So we've got to remain positive. We've got to remain confident and still keep doing what we're doing. In those last five minutes in, we did something which I don't like seeing any side do, but every side does do it. Take the ball to the corner flag, just try and run down time. We saw Whitehall do it during the week. A few weeks ago, in those final five minutes, we were pushing for and getting more goals. It suggests confidence maybe just a little bit lower at the moment. Uh, I think in them games when we were looking to score goals in the last couple of minutes, we were three or four nil up. So today we're only one nil up. So I, I'm, I'm quite pleased with the way the players did that. I thought they managed the game very, very well in the last five minutes and then the referee put up four more minutes, so I felt we managed that. It was a great game management from where we came from. Um, though people don't want to see it, but we just you know, nullified the game, we put the boys in good areas, we kept our strength at the back, I mean, they were playing virtually five up front in the end, so defensively we looked strong, and uh, as I say, we see the game out properly, we managed the game out properly, and the previous weeks, as you said there, when we were winning fives and sixes, we were, we were three or four nil up with a minute to go, that's why we could afford to tack teams, and if it had been the same today, we would have done exactly the same today. In fact, those four minutes out of time were stretched to five and a half in the end, so uh, we did both keep clean sheet one extra time. And as you mentioned there, defence, we were solid at the back today. Yeah, we had Ryan Johnson back today for the first time for probably sort of ten weeks, I would say, and he looked like he hadn't been away, but he, he just gives us that little bit of stability there. I thought that was probably Josh Hill's best game for a while, and both fullbacks defended very, very well. As I said earlier, you know, Rusty's not really had a save to make. What he did, he, you know, he held really well. I think he had one chance low down in the second half to his post, but he held on that to that well. So now all in all, you know, it's been a it's been a it's been a good day today from the fact is we've picked up the three points and uh, there's a few teams around us have, have actually dropped points today. So we're gonna drop points, you know the one thing we've got to do is keep trying to chase made in it. They're on a fantastic run of form at the moment. They don't concede many goals and, and you know the two star men have gone to score two goals again today. As you mentioned, Ryan Johnson's been out for about 10 weeks with an injury he got with Northern Ireland under-21 side. Has he had much practice or game time recently? No, he's probably only had about half an hour with Stevenage, but we spoke to Darren Soul yesterday and he was, he was happy for us to play him today. Um, obviously, he just wants us to just try and protect the boy because it is a long time he's been out. 
Um, he's had the operation on the knee, and uh, but he, you know, he's ready to play. You know, when Stephen you say the player's ready to play, they're more than happy for him to come and play. It'd have been great if we could have just sort of give him an hour today, but the situation we was in um, didn't allow us to do that. And you know, we have to take full responsibility of, of Ryan's career. He's only a young boy, but I thought he put a tremendous performance in today. His loan's up at the end of a month, I believe, isn't it? Any chance to extend it while Stephen is looking for him to get fit again? Well, hopefully so. I mean, obviously, we've got sort of four or five games now between now and January, so obviously he'll be involved in those games. Um, and then we'll have to sit down with Stephen. They'll obviously see where they are and, and what sort of game time the boys get in. But, you know, that's really Stephen player. player. We have to be guided by what Stephen is saying, but hopefully we can extend it yeah, going into the, into the new year. You brought in one not so new face during the week. Uh, Graham Montgomery had nine games for us last season. Of course, you know him very well from when you were both at Bournemouth. Well, you know, Graham became available in the week, and uh, I looked at our squad. Um, I just felt we're a little bit on the on the on the light side of it, um, and we just probably lack a little bit of um, width down that left hand side. We've obviously got Sean down the right, and and, and Theo's been playing a lot to the left. Um, today we actually pushed Lee Chapel out there today just to go to more of a 4-4-2 because I didn't think the 4-3-3 or 4-5-1 that we've been playing was working. So, And I felt that got us back into the game after a slow start. And um, Graham will just give us that little bit of quality. I know, you know I'm Monty from, from old and I know between now and the end of the season hopefully he'll come in with 8-10 to 10 goals. But also he'll create a lot of chances for him. I see two set pieces today were right on the money. and. Uh, the ball he bought out of the air in the last couple of minutes and just passed it just shows a little bit of quality that he's got and he will really settle us down in terms of that and, and hopefully with players like David Noble around him we can, uh, we can hopefully go and uh, build a squad that's going to be good enough to go and push on in the second half of the season and we say we need, still need one or two players to come in as well. Were you tempted to start Graham today? I was tempted um, but again it comes down to the fact is that the players have done a great job for us so far um, but you know the shape that we've been playing has been working. I think teams might have sussed us out a little bit over the last couple of weeks and they're setting up slightly different. Whitehawk set up with a five at the back last week um, and certainly today um, Eastbourne have come and set up with a five. So we might have to just change our shape slightly to just try and cause them one or two problems but that will come over the next few weeks. Obviously we've got a tough game at Margate next week and then um, we've got uh, Hampton away the week after. So we're under no illusions. We've got, we've got a tough little spell coming up. We've got to go and try and get three points on every game we play. As I said before, draws draws ain't no good in this league. We need um, we need wins, and today, even though it was only one nil, uh, it was the same as beating somebody five nil. We picked up three points. So that's one player into the squad and one out of the squad. Dippo Akinjemi recalled from his loan back to Stevenage. Yeah, that's Stevenage's decision. Um, I don't agree with it. Um, I said at the end of the day that, that the boy was getting game time with us. Um, but Stevenage wanted him to play more game time. But as I said before, that's that's not that's taken away from me. Um, they want him to go and play more games at Billericay, which is a lower level, um, and whether he'd be good enough to play week in, week out, will only be shown in the next few weeks, and whether Craig Edwards is going to be putting up with um, inconsistent performances. But there's not a lot I can do about that. As I said, you know, Stephen has made a decision during the game on Tuesday night against uh, against uh, Whitehawk when I think their chief scout or whatever he was was here, and then we got a, an email just before the game to say he's being called called back so there's not a lot we can do about it he's their player and just hopefully you know we can keep Ryan here and we can make decisions from that side of it. Today we picked up uh, a couple of bookings a record recently after starting the season with very five sendings off in no time at all I think we've gone into today's game something like six bookings in 12 games a, a terrific improvement. Well I don't think there was a major problem with the red cards it was just the fact is that you know we just picked them up in, in silly silly instances I mean you take the the two red cards at Maiden were both double yellows. Uh, Tom Benders was never ascending off at Ebsley. Um, and then we go back and look at Juniors here, which was definitely ascending off. He, he reacted and, and, and deserved to get a red card. And then Ben Hurd got two silly yellows at Bath. So when you look back at it, you know, even the yellow, even if you had five red cards, you could look back at it and say three of them probably don't or didn't deserve to be given. But, you know, we have to live with the referee's decisions. They're obviously here for a reason and we can't play football without them being here but you know we look back that was probably maximum could have been two red cards but from the yellow card side of it it's been very very good and I think we say we picked two up today but I think that's um, that's put us back into mid mid table in terms of where the disciplinary league is and that includes the five red cards as well so uh, it's, it's been final season as I say just the five red cards just um, just made it look a little bit worse than what it was.
I'm looking forward to the coming week. In two days' time, we're off to Bournemouth, Hart Senior Cup. Chance for you to catch up with some old friends. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then, yeah, it's going to be an important game. You know, we don't want to go into any game and 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 lose. So, you know, we've got the full squad turning up there, which will be good. Um, we'll pick and choose what squad we're going to play once we get there. We've got one or two little niggles today, and hopefully they'll have cleared up in time for for Monday evening. And you mentioned earlier, big game next Saturday, Margate away. People will expect us to win that and possibly even comfortably. But, uh, but Margate are going to be scrapping for points. I think we've got to be careful when we say you know it's going to be comfortable. I think Margate, they've obviously lost some players, but they've brought some players in. I think you look at their performances, they've obviously got a, a draw against um, East Farrick last week. They lost late on in, in the replay on, on Tuesday night and they've only lost two little made in there today. So I think if we go there and think we've just got to turn up and it's going to be an easy game, we're going to be in for a massive, massive shock. Um, they've got a spare week this week, but they can still try and bring some players in. Um, so I think if we go there, it's going to be a very tough game. And if we're not mentally right and we don't prepare properly, then uh, you know we'll be on the end of a shock by the time we come to this time next Saturday. And we go there with a decent record to protect. Uh, people think we may be slightly off the boil at the moment, but was it last 11 league games, one defeat? It's not a bad record. Yeah, and it's good. Um, and that's what I said to the players in there. You know, I'll continue to push them. I'll continue to put them under pressure. Um, because they've, they've done great to get where they've got. I mean, the players have worked extremely hard since we come back, as I said, at the end of, end of June. Um, and it'd be wrong for me now to, to allow them to, to take their foot off the pedal. It'd be, it'd be wrong for me to allow them to, to drop their standards. And today, you know, we haven't played well, but players have still gone and worked hard and put a good shift in. But, you know, sometimes, you know, when you don't play well, you've got to go and work hard. And, you know, when we get both going, where we're playing well and we're working hard, we're a very good side at the moment. We're going in between a little bit of playing well in patches and then we stop, drop, the work rate just drops off. But today we've had to work extremely hard to get three points and uh, the players take full credit for that because they've gone and put a good shift in. You know, and it's not about 11 players, it's about a squad and uh, the squad have done great today. Lovely, thanks so much Ian, congratulations on another victory. Um, we reconvene two days time over at Bournemouth, kick off at Meadow Park, Hearts Senior Cup second round is at 7.45.